Is this a real or a fake gemstone? Drop your guess in the comments and I'm gonna show you how a gemologist figures out what this is. Let's begin by going straight to the refractometer so we can measure how this gemstone bends light. If this is really sapphire, we should get a reading around a 1.76 to 1.77 and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Glass and plastic and other imitations can sometimes give us a similar reading so let's go to the polariscope. We're seeing a nice blink which is how a sapphire should react. You can also see some rainbow-like interference colors which could mean we're looking down the crystal axis. Using the condensing here, I'm not finding an optic figure, so let's head to the microscope. Right away, you can see natural inclusions found in natural sapphire, specifically the unevenly spaced and hexagonal growth of the crystal. This is called growth banding, and it's an excellent indication this is a natural sapphire. But there's something here that does not belong. Can you see it? There's a lonely gas bubble hiding under the natural growth banding, something we don't find in natural sapphire. Over here, I see something else that looks like a smashed bubble. Turning the gem over and looking at the bottom of the gem, there are teeny tiny gas bubbles here, which is something we we find in synthetic sapphire. So what's going on here? Looking from the side, you can see this is an assembled gem, also called a doublet. The top is a thin slice of natural green sapphire, the bottom is a synthetic sapphire, and these have been glued together to give the illusion of a solid natural sapphire. And I must say, it can look very convincing. So did you get this one right?